Hey guys, it's late, but I'm going to do a little logic tutorial here, but this also applies to GarageBand. How to move your library to a different disk location, your sound library, which takes a lot of space. The logic library is 43 gigabytes when you've downloaded all the content. The Apple Loops is about 11 gigabyte, and the GarageBand library is about 11 gigabyte. Okay. Now, the GarageBand and Logic sound libraries, they live on your root disk in library application support. So you find your logic folder and you drag a copy and copy it to the disk where you the new disk where you want it to live, the other hard disk where you want your library to live from now on. Then you do the same with the GarageBand. Drag a copy and copy the GarageBand library from library application support over to the disk where you want it to live from now on. And then for your Apple Loops, they're not in application support, they're in audio. Find your Apple Loops folder, drag a copy of that to the disk where you want it to live from now on. So you've copied your Apple Loops folder, not the Apple Loops index, just the Apple Loops folder from library audio and you've copied the GarageBand and Logic folders from library application support. And you've copied those three folders to your new disk location, right? Okay, when you've done that, in application support, you've just copied the Logic and the GarageBand folder across to their new, where you want them to live, but the originals are still living in application support. So you rename the Logic and GarageBand folder, call them something like Logic, dot xxx or logic dot not or logic dot old or something like that and garageband dot old or garageband dot xxx or whatever and then you go to your library audio and rename the apple loops folder call it apple loops dot old or something like that right so they're all all the three original folders are renamed then you go to the disk here where you copied those three folders too. This is my other disk, not my root disk, right? There's my Apple Loops folder copied over, there's my Logic content copied over its folder, and there's my GarageBand content. The three folders have been copied to this disk. Now, you download this program called Symbolic Linker. Just search for Symbolic Linker in Google, you'll find it's some Symbolic Linker for Mac. Download. There's the download link. It's only 600 kilobytes. When it downloads, you'll find it in your downloads there. Double click to open it and you'll see this right now. This needs to go to your root drive. That's the one that OXS is running off. The one where you've just copied your libraries from to the other disk location, right? Your root disk. Go into that and go into library services and copy this symbolic linker across to services and there it is in services once it's in there if you then right click on any folder and choose services you'll see make symbolic link okay right this is what you now do let's go back to application support in here you've got your renamed garage band folder and your renamed logic folder okay called garage band dot old and logic dot old you've already copied those over to the new disk location here so on the new disk location you go to the logic copied folder right click services make symbolic link and a symbolic link appears on your desktop there called logic sim link you copy that into application support and then you'll find it alongside the original logic folder which has been renamed logic dot old you simply then rename this sim link, take the sim link off, so it's just called logic, and it'll be like that, living in your application support folder. There it is, with a little arrow on it. When you right click, get info, you'll see it points to original, wherever you've moved that copy of the logic folder to. In my case, it's pointing to this disk here. There's my copied logic folder. Once you've checked that, delete the original renamed logic folder and you're left with just this symbolic link 
in library application support pointing to the location on the other disk. Then do the same for GarageBand. Go to the copied GarageBand content folder, the one that's been, the copy that's on the new disk where you want it to live. Right click, services, make symbolic link, bam. Symbolic link appears on your desktop called GarageBand symbolic link. Copy that into application support on the root disk alongside the renamed GarageBand folder. Then rename the symbolic link as just GarageBand and then delete the original GarageBand folder which you renamed to something like GarageBand.old and you're left with the GarageBand folder link with a little arrow on it and the logic folder with a little arrow on it and both of those point to the new disk location where you've copied the library to and then empty your trash. For the Apple Loops, let's get rid of these, I don't need these now. For the Apple Loops, they live in library, on your root disk, library, or, oh, not after you, library audio. Apple Loops, again, you've copied that over to the new location already. You've renamed the original, something like Apple Loops dot old. Again, you go to the copy that you've copied to the disk where you want it to live from now on. Right click, services, make symbolic link. The symbolic link appears here. Drag it into audio alongside the original renamed Apple Loops folder. Rename the sim link as just Apple Loops, take off the sim link bit, and then the it'll live there like that with a little arrow on it. Apple Loops with a little arrow on the original Apple Loops folder, which will be alongside it, but it's been renamed Apple Loops old. Now trash it. And if you right click on this Apple Loops symbolic link, get info, you'll see it points to the new disk location. Look, I've moved it to Mac Macintosh hard drive Apple Loops over here. And that's it, all done. Now you've got a symbolic link for your Apple Loops with a little arrow on, the folder with a little arrow on, in library audio on your original you know your main disk that OSX runs off and in application support you've got the little garage band and logic folders with the arrow on and all three of those point to the new disk location where you've got your copied Apple loops folder your copied logic folder and your copied garage band folder and that's it and it works let's get rid of that and then empty your trash I've done that just now I had six gigabyte left on my little 250 gig SSD drive. If I right click now and look at my SSD drive, I've now liberated 60, almost 60 gig of drive space just by copying the GarageBand, Logic and Apple Loops over to a different disk. Okay, and using a symbolic link and it works, right? So look, in my library, this is my main disk, library, you know, the one that OSX is running off. Library, application support. I've got the logic folder, sim link. This isn't got anything in it, it's just a link pointing to the other disk where I've moved the folder. I've got my garage band sim link, that points to the other disk where I've got my content. And in audio, I've got my Apple Loop sim link pointing to the other disk. Right? All the originals have now gone. If I boot logic, <coughs> Look, sound library, everything is installed. It's all there. Um, make a new track. My Apple Loops, they're all there. All the Apple Loops there, all done, right? Quit. And GarageBand, let's check GarageBand. Hopefully we won't run into any plug-in authorizations. GarageBand, make any old track. GarageBand, sound library. Now you can't view the sound library, but clearly it's all installed because it says download essential sounds, download alt available sounds, they're greyed out. So I've got everything, right? That's all done. And my Apple Loops are all there as well. That's all my Apple Loops, all done, lovely jubbly. And it remembers your own loops. Look, my loops, they're still there. They've just been copied to the new location. My loops, they're still there. Yeah, and it's the same in Logic. Come on. File new. 
again in my upper loops they're all there but if I go to my loops the ones I created they're all there they're all there they were copied over with the Apple loop library everything works right and also if I go to like make a, an instrument track say I go to user patches yeah my user patches are there as well yeah so everything is fine lovely jubbly okay so that's how you do that and it will save you gobs of disk space if you, and this is really important if you're running an ssd drive for your mac because you don't get much space um the apple libraries they can live if you've got a little like i've got a macbook air as well that's only got i don't know like a 320 gig ssd in it or something or a, um, maybe it's slightly bigger but the library can live on an external thumb drive, a USB 3 thumb drive. That's fine, as long as that thumb drive has got enough space to hold the library. The Logic library is 45 gigabytes. The GarageBand library is, come on, 15, just over 15 gigabytes, right? And the Apple Loops is... 5 gigabytes so total 45.3 plus 5 that's 51 let's call it 51 gigabyte rounding it up 66 67 gigabytes you're going to need at least 67 68 gigabytes right on that thumb drive but it can be a little external drive it can be anything right anyway that is how you do that and this symbolic linker is very very clever. Now I'm doing all this on Sierra, not High Sierra, Sierra. It works on Sierra and it should work on the previous operating system for that. But here's the thing. You've moved a copy of your Apple Loops here to the new drive. You've moved a copy of your GarageBand library here to the new drive. You've moved a copy of a Logic library here to the new drive. So if everything goes pear-shaped, you just go to your original hard drive, you know, the boot drive that you boot off, your main drive, Go to library, go to application support, and just copy your logic library back into there and delete the symbolic link and copy the GarageBand library back into there and delete the symbolic link for that. And then go to library audio and copy the Apple Loops folder back and delete the symbolic link. If everything goes wrong, you've got a copy on the disk where you just copied everything to for, for it to live on that new location, right? So it's pretty hard to go wrong. Um, and to, lo to lose the content, but even in the worst case scenario, if something terrible goes wrong and the drive you've copied to gets corrupted or something after you've deleted the originals, well, you just have to download the content again. You haven't lost it forever. But it seems to work fine for me, so there you go. That's this symbolic linker thing. It's um, It really works well. Symbolic linker. It's completely free. There's the download link there. Right, not down here. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic stuff. There you go. There's a little tutorial for you. Free up some space. Moving your Apple libraries for Logic GarageBand and Apple Loops. It's pretty easy with Symbolic Linker.